Another issue that I often get criticized for is, is I'm accused of being a fundamentalist atheist. Oh, yeah. And you get this too. Oh, yes. And, and then on the other hand, what's often said is, is uh, what, what's often told me is, well, you shouldn't worry about the moderate Christian, you shouldn't worry about the moderate Muslim, Muslims. It's those, those extremist fanatics. And the fact that I go after anyone, I mean, I'll attack Unitarians, okay? I'll go after anyone, is, is a sign that I must be some kind of absolutist, some fundamentalist. But what it really gets down to is faith. That we have a culture that regards faith as a virtue. And faith is promoted in all of these religions, even the most moderate liberal religions you can think of. And if, if you're fundamental, again, I'm using fundamental, okay, so you're going to say, I am a fundamentalist, okay, this is my fundamental core, is, no, I, I will not tolerate this excuse of faith, of wallowing in ignorance as an answer to things, and it goes all across the board in religion. So no, I can't just attack the fanatics. I will go after the Methodists and the Anglicans and the Unitarians and, and the Buddhists and whoever. And the reason, the reason is that they, they teach children that faith is a virtue. Yes. And of course they're nice and mild and gentle and things, but if you teach children that it's, it's a good thing to believe something just because you have faith and you don't have to justify it, then those children are going to grow up and a minority of them are going to say, well, my faith tells me to go and bomb skyscrapers and things like that. So the, the moderate religious people have this pernicious influence of glorifying faith yes. and actually making it a positive virtue. Doubting Thomas was the least admired of the apostles, patron saint of scientists. He actually wanted evidence. Uh -huh. uh, but, but we are taught as, as children that it's better to believe without evidence than to believe with evidence. Right. And, and that is the fuse that can, after a long burning, can produce true fanaticism, which is violent and dangerous. Yeah. And we, and we come back to a, a point that was made earlier. Uh, I, I consider the opposite of faith to be criticism. And we come from a scientific culture that values critical thinking, that values argument and criticism, which is antithetical to what you do when you're favoring faith. In faith, you're not supposed to question things. Or, if, or, or what you'll often hear from, from the religious is, is, yes, you're supposed to question things, but it's, it's okay as long as you come up with the right answer, which is <laughs> that you go on believing. I hear um, countless stories of children being thrown out of Sunday school for simply asking questions. I mean, oh, yeah. like I met a man last week in Dublin who said that he was thrown out of Sunday school because he asked the teacher, but why did only Noah's Ark float? Why didn't all the other boats float? <laughs>